Welcome back everyone. Hope everyone's doing good. Um, sorry, I'm a little hot and sweaty. I just, just got done chaining up the load. Um, so, but I wanted to talk to you guys about um, what a, an average week of hot shotting looks like for me, money-wise. So I went ahead and I wrote, I wrote everything out, which um, I get paid in like a PDF format, so all my expenses and everything are on there. But it's on my phone and I'm recording on my phone, so I wrote everything out. And so I'm just I'm going to tell you guys some real world numbers of. I mean, this is a pretty pretty typical week for me. Um, so my gross total, so this is from Tuesday to Tuesday is what my pay period is for the company. So it's Tuesday to Tuesday and then I get paid on Fridays. All right, so any load between Tuesday and Tuesday uh, is, what, is what this is referring to. And this is for last week. So today is Friday, so I got paid today. My loads were for the following Tuesday. So before everything, so my, my gross or the company's gross, because I'm leased onto a company. So their gross from what I made for a seven day period was $5,800. Okay, so seven days I made 5,800. Now, my company, they do all the DOT um, paperwork, they do all my IFTA paperwork, they, they, they take care of everything. So I pay them a percentage to run under their DOT number and use their dispatch service. So they're the, they're the ones that dispatch me out and they're the ones that take care of everything legally. So they take 20% off, off the top. So 20% off the top is their fee for that. And then they take 5% for the trailer. So they cover all the maintenance on the trailer, any tires, um, let's see, um, the hubs, I mean, all that stuff that's, and then uh, the brakes that are getting ready to get replaced on it, they, they cover everything. So I don't have to worry about any trailer uh, expenses. So that's 5%. So right off the top, every single week, I lose 25% off the top. Jeez, how many times am I going to say that? All right, so after that, my pay is $4,350. So my initial take home is $4,350. <laughs> Now we do have a fuel card, so these, so that's what it, that's what an average week would look like with that before my expenses. We have a fuel card, we have roadside service. I have to pay for my uh, ELD each week and my insurance and my prepass that I just got. So forty three fifty is what you're looking at, and then my fuel for that week, which I did a lot of miles. So my loaded miles was the miles that I had to load on my trailer for that week was 2,965 miles. So that's not counting any deadheading. So on average I run, that's, that's about a, yeah, that's $2 a mile. So $2 a mile before expenses is what we normally try to hang around. So that's not bad. So my fuel, so that's quite a bit of loaded miles plus my deadhead miles. My fuel for last week was $1,358.53. My roadside service, so the roadside company that we use that we can call anytime, they don't charge us a fee for it, that's what we pay weekly for, is $17 per week. My ELD is $8 per week, and this is something that the company just, that I just seen on this, on this paycheck this week, was uh, that they are paying my, they're pulling out my IFTA money per week now. So that way you don't have to try to pay it in at the end of the year or anything like that. So they're pulling it out per week. So for my IFTA, for the states that I was in, it was $38.50 for last week. And then my prepass. So my prepass covers all my tolls and uh, my bypass, all the way stations and all that. So that's not counting the tolls. That's not counting the cost of the tolls. So my toll cost for last week was $60. My prepass fee to use it weekly is $25.00. Okay, and then my insurance is two hundred and fifty dollars a week for my commercial insurance. Um, and then food, my food. So I didn't eat out at all last week, actually. So I spent fifty five dollars um, at a meal prep uh, meal prep store in Oklahoma. Which, if you guys go back and watch some of the other videos, you'll see that. And then I had thirty dollars of food that I meal prepped at the house before I left. 
So my food, which I didn't eat at any truck stops, I didn't eat no candy, no gum, no nothing. So it was $85 for the week. So if you add everything up, my fuel, my roadside, my ELD, my IFTA, my prepass, my insurance, my tolls, and my food, it came out to be Well, it was about $1,800 is, is what we're looking at. So I started with $4,350. And then after all my expenses for the entire week, um, my official take home was $2,541.63. So I don't know if that helps you guys at all. But there's the, there's the big number. So 2,500 bucks a week is what it comes down to. And that's after all my expenses is 100% paid. So the only thing that I have out of pocket after that is gonna be my weekly truck payment, which I pay, I pay monthly, and then any maintenance. So a lot of guys that I see on some other channels, um, I'll give uh, Truck and Travel a shout out. They, uh, they put up their uh, weekly truck payment and I think it was like uh, high 300s or somewhere right in there. And some of the guys were commenting saying that, um, Oh, you'll never be able to keep up with the payments and this and that. Well, whatever the case is, I I pay uh, extra on my truck. I don't know what uh, I don't know what they're uh, what they pay or if they ju they're just making the regular payment. It doesn't matter. It's not my it's not my uh, truck. So I pay five hundred dollars per week. So it comes out to be two thousand dollars per month. But I do a lot of miles. I average over twelve thousand miles a month. So I pay two grand a week. My truck payment per month is a little over 1100. So um, $2,000 a week, and the way I figured it up is I kind of did like what, how many miles, so three years I would have about 350,000 miles and I wanted to have the truck paid off uh, no later than three years. So I think I'm on pace to do it in like two years and nine months or something, something like that. Um, 12, 24, 48,000. Yeah, so so a little over, like a little less than three years is what I have. So I have it on pace to have my truck paid off at about 300,000 miles on it. So that's that's just how I do it. I, I make enough, uh, I mean, obviously if I have bad weeks or I take a vacation or I take the week off or whatever the case may be, then I don't make the full $2,000 payment. I'll do like 1500 or 1750 something like that. But on average, I try to do $2,000 a month on my truck. So that drops me down to $2,000 um, in take home. So that's kind of uh, what some real world numbers look like for you guys of what you can make uh, doing hot shot. So after all my expenses, which my expenses are extremely low, I didn't stay in a hotel the entire week. Um, so uh, $2,000, two grand a week take home. And then um, I take taxes out of that also. I take out 20%, which a lot of guys say you don't have to take out anything um, because your expenses will be so high that it'll kind of counterbalance, especially when you do the depreciation on your truck and um, everything that goes along with it, your mileage tax that you get from the government, your per diem tax that you get from the government. Um, but this is my first year doing hot shotting like this. So I'm, I'm running under a 1099 and so I'm just taking out 20% also. So if it comes back where I hardly owe any taxes, well, I'll have a $15,000 bonus essentially to myself sitting in my bank account. So I take out 20% also. So, um, so sometimes it looks like I don't make that much. So you take out 20% of two grand and you're looking at 1600 bucks. So $1,600 a week take home after taxes and expenses and truck payments and everything. Uh, that's still a good paycheck. I don't know too many other jobs where you're going to go and make $1,500, $1,600 a week. So you guys can do the math on that. You guys can weigh out the options of what your bills look like. And um, if, it, if it's worth, if it's worth, uh, worth the money, um, if it's worth the headache of being away from your family and everything week after week and month after month. So, but um, that's, that's it guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, get it posted for you guys. So if you guys want to see more videos or you guys want to follow me along week to week with my um, with my expenses or my loads, um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and uh, press that like button for me. So, all right guys, take care.